Okay, I'm following up with Martin. Martin, how are you feeling today? Not so good. I'm a little off. I'm tired. I'm really tired. You're telling me you haven't slept? When was yeah. the last time you slept? So I had a little cat nap here and there. I don't even know. Last time I really, really slept for a few hours was in my hotel room. That was the last time I slept. Man. Good few hours in my wheelchair. Where's the pain coming from today? My knees, my feet, mainly my knees, because they're bent all day long sitting down. And, uh, they hurt bad. I'm a little depressed. She's not not. I don't know, it don't feel right. Where's that depression coming from? Everything in life. You know? I'm over 40 and I ain't did nothing with my life. I don't like where I'm at. You don't like where you're at? What no. steps are you taking to get, get out of here? I can't even take a step. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I need help on that. I want the smartest. It really starts with uh, getting medical treatment. Yeah. And a doctor has to look at you to tell you how to make you feel better, right? Get you healthier. Put some, some healthy weight on you. Take care of your swollen legs, your swollen feet, the infection of your feet. Take care of that. You need a detox. Uh, you need uh, rehab, counseling. You have trauma. Mental health issues. I got a flyer yesterday. I'm thinking about going starting outpatient. Somebody gave you a flyer? Yeah, I'm going to start. I'm going to call them. I'm going to start outpatient. To start the step. Outpatient treatment? For now. Just to start. Nobody's going to be able to give you uh, inpatient treatment or outpatient treatment until you take care of your medical issues. I yeah, know. You can't detox yet because of your medical issues. Uh, you have to take care of one issue at a time. You can't, right? That's where the doctor comes in. That's where a hospital comes in. That's where the emergency room comes in. Right? Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. But you're not ready today for the hospital? No, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm ready. I just, I, I got to do it by myself. I can't rely on nobody. Nobody to take me or go with me. I need to do it myself. Okay. You know, I'm going with her, I never make it. She's starting to go there and just don't make it there. So I'm going to go by myself. Nobody knows where I'm at. I just get my treatment I need. And start from there. Open one door at a time. When, when do you think that's going to happen? Hopefully this afternoon. Today. Hopefully today. I think we just might be today. Yeah, yeah, we're hoping that today's the day, like the other few times you've told us that, you know, at that time, it was, that was the day, you know? Yeah. I have to speak louder than words. I'm just going to take that step, and then we'll go from there. I'm not going to keep talking about it. I'm just going to go and show that I can do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, ultimately, it's, uh, it's your... You know, it's your life, it's your body, it's your, it's 
your everything, right? I mean, yeah. You can only get you, people can only lead you so much, right? Eventually, you gotta kind of lead the me next to the step. water. It's my choice to drink it. So, right. That's how it is. So that's exactly how it is. <sighs> you know. So um, yeah. I remember the deal we made back then was, uh, oh, I'll get you a hotel room, and the next, you know, when the hotel's over, we'll go to the doctor, you know, go to the doctor. Yeah, but then that happened in the hotel room with her, and, and, and I just gave up again, so. Maybe this time I'll stay away from her, and I'll do, do it this time, you know, by myself. Because yeah. I seem to get stuff done when I'm not with her. I get, I get stuff done more. So. You get stuff done when you're away from your wife? Yeah. She's not too supportive? No, not at all. Not at all. So what are you going to do for the pain? I asked you if there's anything I can help you with with the pain. I need some ibuprofen. I don't have any ibuprofen. I gave you, gave you my last bottle. I'll work on getting it though. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm sure the hospital would be able to provide a, yeah. some pain relief, no? They should. I don't see why not. Not once I ever abused medication, so. You're not a medication abuser? Nope. Oh, you like taking meds. The, the pain you're feeling in your knees, your legs, is that every day? Yeah, my hips. Your hips. It's like everything hurts, basically, huh? I need to lay down. I sit in one position all day. I need to lay down. I can't lay down the concrete. I'm too bony. I'm too skinny. I can't lay on the concrete. It hurts. There's a comfortable bed at the hospital waiting for you, Martin. But if you don't admit me, then I, I'm way back out here in the chair. They won't admit you, you're saying? If they don't admit me. It's worth taking that chance that they will, though, you know? Uh-huh. I don't see why they wouldn't admit you. <laughs> Should give it a chance as soon as possible to alleviate that pain, lay down. Right? Better than being out here in pain, man, all day long. You know? There's only so much other people can do. Martin has to take the reins, has to gain control of his life and uh, start drinking the water, right? So I saw you yesterday and you said it's cold at night. It gets really cold. So it's starting to get cold here in Phoenix. The daytime is kind of warm, but uh, at night it's uh, it's really cold for you because you're out of here. So I got you some, uh, some uh, sweats, okay? So a hoodie and some sweats so you can stay a little warm at night, okay? Uh, so here's the, uh, the pants. Oh, thank you. Here's the uh, hoodie. And uh, lots of people bug me saying, uh, take off the tags. Why do you give them brand new clothes? <laughs> He's like, Dad, take them off. I don't sell my clothes. I need them. You keep talking about me. You're selling them. Selling what? What am I going to sell? Take them. I don't need the tags. They come off anyway when you put it on. They're, they're convinced that, uh, that you're out here selling your wheelchair, you're out here selling your, your underwear. Uh, you know, that's what these, you know, the, the people that don't donate, right? They're just uh, little haters. So, uh, putting me down. Yeah, putting you down, you know? Making me feel worse. Yeah, they say, oh, I used to be, I used to live in the addiction. I know, I used to do that. Well, well hey, you do that, I don't do it. Right, that's what I'm it's saying. Different levels, everybody got different levels in this. 
different people do different things. I struggle before I sell my clothing in my wheelchair. Exactly. I'll go without. I'll hurt. Yeah. Before I do any of that. Yeah, that's the... I can confirm that's the same wheelchair I gave you a few days ago. Right? It's uh, brand new. Same tag. Same... Everything's new on there. Uh, you've transferred all your stuff from the old wheelchair to the new chair. Uh, but uh, it's still the new chair. So uh, that's great. I'm glad. Um, if you didn't have the wheelchair, you'd be laying on the ground basically trying to crawl everywhere right so you're not going to get rid of that wheelchair you need it so i don't know why people it's just the dummies just got to ignore them okay so uh uh the, you, got, you got anything else better to do than talk about a man struggling they don't you know they just, they're just projecting their all the time they put in to talk about me why they go do something to help somebody maybe it'll change, change somebody's life instead of putting them down so that's like being a bully. Yeah. So this is mind your business. If they don't want to help, mind your business. That's it. It's point blank period, man. You're absolutely correct. There's uh, there's bullies online. You know, they, it makes them feel stronger, more, just better, I guess, you know. They're anonymous. Getting off on talking about somebody struggling, dying. They need, they need something to stay warm. You ever shiver so much with your teeth crack? Yeah. It's cold here at nighttime. Especially when you're stressed out and you're skinny. I've always been skinny my whole life. Is it my jeans? To be cold and on top of that, and you're shivering. Can't even talk sometimes. And that's how cold I am. Just shaking. They yeah. don't care. Yeah. I have to put an next person down. So again, those are uh, experts, right? That uh, quote unquote experts, they say. And uh, they're just projecting their insecurities uh, to bully somebody. So uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but I have to call it out every once in a while because it's uh, rather annoying. So uh, I can clearly see you're, you're, you know, you wear the clothes that I get you. I clearly see the brand new wheelchair. So thank you again to all the lovely people that assist and help. I'm going to get you some food right now. Uh, you're requesting Burger King today. How was that pizza? It was very good. Very good. I shared some of it with a couple of people because they were hungry. So I had eight slices in there, I ate four, and I gave four people one slice. I'm not gonna lie, I gave out half my pizza to the people because they were hungry and they didn't have it, so uh, I shared my food, you know. And they were greatly appreciated, they were happy, a smile on their face. So, it's something good. Today you're asking for Burger King, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do some little chicken maybe, something different. Something different, okay. So, uh, Martin, uh, just want to check in with you, bring you those uh, sweatpants, a sweater, stay warm. Uh, you're telling us that you're that today's the day for a uh, hospital and you're going to do it on your own. Yeah, and if I go there and they don't admit me and they send me back outside, I'm just right back out here again. No sleep, nowhere to lay down at. So, I don't know. I'm mean, going to go by a, 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 a apartment building and get like an old mattress or something and lay down on that for a while so the police wake me up or something. But other than that, I'm going to lay down some way, somehow. I'm going to lay down. I got to flatten my body out. So uh, I'll time. check in with you to see uh, if you were admitted into the hospital. Uh, if they don't admit you, let me know where they didn't admit you and, uh, and uh, what the reasoning for not admitting you. Again, I don't know why a hospital wouldn't admit you. Like, you're the perfect example on why a hospital would admit somebody you're in pain you have multiple issues so uh so uh i'll check in with you uh, very soon probably tomorrow okay yeah thank you everybody for everything you guys are doing and believing in me thank you i really appreciate it at least somebody cares and somebody believes in me so i'm gonna do my best and i'm gonna i'm gonna succeed you'll see you'll see a difference just give me time I promise